Tough questions. That's another one that I wrote on guitar um, around the same pe time period as Bins of Life. Uh, Taylor had just moved into his house in Athens, and we were sitting around the carport a bunch, getting chewed up by mosquitoes, playing guitar and writing songs. Um, I had the first verse to that one for a long time, and it's a trend for me to like get started on an idea I really like and, and kind of be afraid to finish it. Uh, so it's one that we sat down together and finished and yeah it's a it's a song that we jammed on as a band years ago and then forgot about for a while and then dug it back up for the second record and it only took us an afternoon to record and it was probably yeah it was one of the it's that song is quintessentially Hefner to me yeah it came together really quick Hey, we're Tommy, Taylor, Reagan, Lars, McKendrick, and Will, and we're in the band Hefner from Athens, Georgia. We're toasting and jamming at Toast and Jam in Atlanta, Georgia today. This song is called Tough Questions. of life I originally started that song on guitar probably two and a half maybe even three years ago at this point it was something that I had fun playing on my own but got really stuck with you know how to finish it um, I had the chorus come to me all at once all together it was kind of one of those things that felt very like stream of consciousness when I wrote it I don't know if I was feeling anything particular at the time, but uh, yeah, Bins of Life is is one that was also very fun to record. We recorded that one and Take Shelter together at Nate Nelson's house. Um, yeah, the, was... the vocal wasn't written until we started recording it. Uh, that was like kind of the first and only time we've done that. Yeah, I think it was just like an alien download into Reagan's brain, yeah. which happens sometimes. And Thanks. he showed me that chorus just on acoustic guitar, and we thought. I thought it was epic, and then we kind of chipped away at it for a long time before we went in to record it. Mm -hmm. And so we always knew we wanted it to sound, uh, for lack of a better word, kind of epic. Yeah. <laughs> this song's called Bins of Life.
That song was written really quickly in a moment of frustration um, with a certain loved one. And uh, yeah, it was um, a way that I was feeling at one time. It doesn't really reflect the way that I feel about that person anymore. And um, the band loved it when I showed it to them. And it was one of the more fun songs to record on the record and has become a bit of a fan favorite, if you will. Um, and it's something that I'm really proud that we worked out how to play live. I think we're still wrestling with that song live a little yeah, bit and it's... it'll probably always like be evolving a little bit live. We've even added like some noisy sections in that don't exist in the, in recording. the recording. So we're always down for, for songs to change in a live setting versus the recording. And I think that one's a perfect example of like needing a little bit more or less sauce depending mm -hmm. on what we can achieve, like the five or six of us on stage. This song is called Take Shelter and it's from our second record called Perfect Heaven.
After that last, last word You subbed the chin out for mezcal And now your mind's gone hazy I think you forget how that shit makes you crazy When you get like this, it's like you don't 